Hey there folks, in today's video I'm going to show you how to sharpen the blades on a real type mower. Now this service will be similar for most brands. The only thing that will most likely differ is how you get the wheel off, but the actual process after that will be all the same. So this one I'm working on particularly is a Yardworks unit. So we're going to take both wheels off to make sure that when we're spinning the blade, if you spin one, the other wheel will spin with it so we don't want it flying off the table. So on this unit, there's a little clip right here. We're just going to use our screwdriver to pry it off. No special tools. And then there's this washer, we're going to take it off. And then the wheel will just slide off. I like to just put all my components inside the wheel so we don't lose them. Then you're going to take off this gear right here. And there's a little piece of metal inside of this shaft right here. We're going to take it out. So just remember the way that it was facing because you're going to want to put it back in the same way. And we're going to repeat the process for the other side. All right, so this next step, you're going to perform on the right side of the mower. So when you're facing it as if you were mowing, take your right side there. And then what you're going to do, you take that little metal piece that was inside of that shaft and find a socket where it will fit and it won't spin freely because what you're going to do you're going to put that piece back in but first before we were actually getting ahead of ourselves here we're going to take this it's called valve grinding compound and we're going to spread it over all the blades here. All right, so now that you have that all over the blades there, you're going to take your metal piece, you're going to put it back in. The reason we took it out is we don't want it falling out while we're moving the blade around and then you lose it. So you're going to slide that back in. And then all you do, actually we're on the wrong side here, we're going to go on the right side. Put your little metal piece back in. And then that socket that I was showing you that fits over top, you put it over top. You might want to put hearing protection on for this because it can get a little loud. And then you're just going to put your drill in reverse 
and then you're just going to spin it for about three, maybe five minutes. All right, so now that that's done, what you can do is actually put a little bit of oil. I like to put some just in here, just on top of the where the wheel goes. And then if you put it just in the shaft there where the blade meets, then while we're spinning it, it'll grease it up. Same on the other side. And you can do some on this side of the blade as well. All right, just give it another quick spin. All right, so another note I just want to make quickly. Since you're going very fast with your drill, you want to ease off of your trigger. You don't want to just come to an abrupt halt. You might break some of the shaft in there. So it's best to ease off. So now that's all there is to that service. And you'll actually notice when you look at it, it's a nice clean flat edge. So all there's left to do now is just put everything back together. So make sure you remember which wheel went on which side. So you have your metal piece with your shaft there and you put your gear back on. Place your wheel. And then your washer. followed by your clip. And same on the other side. All right, folks, so as the, the train passes by in my backyard here, just gonna finish things up. You're gonna put it on the ground and you're gonna start mowing. As for any service, just make sure everything's okay. Alright, so as you can see, everything is a success. So hopefully you found this helpful, and please like and subscribe.